Polish MP4 gas mask. Polish MP4 gas mask. I ordered this from KeepShooting.com. The price was right. It was about $14.95 plus shipping. I got two of them. First of all, I want to say that the bag is really, really good. I don't know. It's kind of like a canvas material. Looks a lot like your M17 gas mask pouch. Very good. I, I'm really digging the long carry strap here. It actually goes down to my waist when I put it on. And that's what I like. It's got a nice pocket there with a soldier's window to put your name tag in there and everything. Over there I just carry a lighter and some uh, extra lens cleaning material. The snaps are really good. I go ahead and uh, WD-40 these guys up and they snap on really good and they snap on and snap off really good. Here you can hear that. Bang, bang. They're all good. It's got a little clip there that you can clip onto your webbing or whatever. You got a D-ring over here. Alright. Now, here's a mask itself. I'm taking it out right here. There it is. Now, before I start this, I want to say that uh, I trained with these style of gas masks when I was in the Marine Corps. The M17 gas mask. I understand these are not M17 gas masks, but they're clones from uh, Westpac countries like Poland and Czechoslovakia. Uh, I guess they liked them so much they copied them. I don't know the history behind why they did it. I'm not going to talk about the differences and the details because I'm not in, in about that. I just want to say what I thought about this gas mask when I bought it. Let me just say for... Uh, I trained in this gas mask style, so I understand it really well. There's no extra training involved for me or anything like that. I know how to don and clear a gas mask. The strapping here was all good. No problems with any of the straps. I mean, they're, they're good. They're, they're not brand new, but they're good work in order, good condition. Now, I don't know if I can try to get the inside view of these things here, but if you look in here, Inside the gas mask, you see that little white kind of like button thing there. There's like two of them on each side. There, there. And you see it holds the nasal part right here. I got the nasal part of the mask latched onto that side and this side here too, along where, where the filter goes in. The filter, the filter is hard to get in here because of these little tabs here. You got to basically stretch these out. They're pinhole sizes and they fit in there. And then you snap these little coverings on here. Click. Now these looking pretty... They're good. They're good shape, but they look like they've they've seen better days. I, I'd like to have had, had newer, nicer ones. My other one on the other gas mask is in a little bit better shape than that, but it's functional and it works good. No problem. I think for $14.95, it's a damn good mask, and I wouldn't go with any other. I know a lot of people, been watching on YouTube, a lot of people don't like the cheek inserted filters. They don't bother me. I think it's fine. I think it's good to go. No problem. I'd rather have that than the canister sticking out the side myself, but that's my preference, only because I trained in these things. Now, how to clear a gas mask, I don't see very many articles in there on how to on uh, YouTube on how to clear a gas mask but basically if you look down here that's where the exhale chamber is that's when you when you breathe out this is where your air comes out and if you look underneath there you'll see these little drilled passage holes right there where all the air comes out basically when you don a gas mask and you put it on once you put it and fit it in your face, you put your hand, you cup your hand over here like this. And then you just blow. Just blow hard. You get you get the signal for gas. Quit breathing. Don your gas mask on. Put your hand over this thing and blow out. All the air will blow out from the sides and the seams and everything here. And then you let go here and then whatever's left over will come out from here. And now you'll be able to see and you won't be able to... You won't be breathing all that gas and everything that you, that you have inside the gas mask when you put it in. I don't know if you guys have ever been inside a 
uh, gas chamber or tear gas like they train you in the military you actually got to take the mask off count to whatever and you're actually you can't hold your breath that long you're breathing this crap in there you learn how to put this on real fast real fast and you learn how to clear it real fast but it's really no big deal I just showed you how to clear it just uh, go ahead and uh, cuff your palm over here like this or, or, or like this where you're covering up those those uh, louvers whatever you call these cover that up you blow hard with with the air you got in your lungs you're gonna create pressure in the mask and it's gonna seep out and it works great it works great when you do that so all in all I wanna say this is a thumbs up it's a very good gas mask wish I could get you a better view of the inside here but uh, it's a good fit when you put your, your chin in here, you, your nose goes over this. You got little valves over here, little little grommets or whatever. They're, they act as uh, when you breathe in, you breathe out, that, that closes, acts like a valve. I, I went ahead and ordered some of those and I changed them all on, on, all, on both cast masks. I picked them up from some website that was selling them cheaper than anybody else. So. Uh, very good gas mask. I went ahead and cleaned it when I first got it. Dipped it in the, uh, soaked it in the water. Cleaned it out real good. Water and uh, chlorine. Uh, chlorine, uh, Clorox, I think. A little bit of mixture there. and it De-germed it. Cleaned everything out. Good to go, man. I mean, not a problem, man. What can you use this for? Well, look. Suppose, the best example I can tell you is suppose you're driving through the train tracks and there's a chemical spill and you're stuck in traffic this may come in really handy especially if it's chlorine or something like that that can kill you this will this will, this will be a great thing to put in your car or if you're or debugging or using chemicals and spraying this is good it's a good respirator no problem I'm glad I got them and I think they're pretty good and uh, there you go that's it that's all I got to say about that mask I'm out of here.